Season 5 has just begun and Mario Togata has finally been added to My Hero Ultra Rumble. And you're probably wondering, is he worth rolling for? Well today, we are going to be looking at everything Mirio can do and really see if he is worth your tickets. So please don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Mirio is a rapid type character with 250 health, which is on the lower end, but if you play him right, you'll pretty much never get hit since Mirio has a lot of escape options, as you'll see in a sec. So, it's not as big as a deal as you think it would be. Now on to Mirio's alpha. With his alpha, Mirio charges towards wherever you're aiming, but also, the alpha has its own little mini combo if you keep pressing the alpha. It does a 3 hit combo with the third hit knocking the enemy quite far back. This alpha has been a little controversial since it's not just a point and shoot like most characters have in the game. This alpha has very little tracking so if your enemy moves then you'll miss the shot. So to land this alpha more consistently, you have to predict where your enemy is going to move. Anyway, at level 1 it does 34 damage, at level 4 it does 38 damage, at level 7 you get an extra charge giving you 3 total shots, and at level 9 it does 43. Something else that's really cool about Mirio's alpha is that like all for one, it can be charged. By doing this, it makes the attack stronger and can make you travel further. But that's not all charging the alpha does. If you charge the alpha, it gives your skill priority over every other skill in the game, which is awesome. Meaning, you can hit characters who are using skills most other characters can't touch, like All Might with his Gamma. Usually, this skill makes him invulnerable while active, but if you hit him with the charged Mirio Alpha, it's like he's not even doing it. But that's also not all, because if you charge the Alpha, it gives you permeation while active, so you can't be hit. But also, this lets you go through buildings and walls, making this Alpha not only amazing for attacking, but equally as amazing for escaping and traversal. Next we have Mirio's Beta. With this skill, Mirio permeates underground and then does an uppercut from the ground. You can either tap to do the uppercut instantly, or if you're holding the Beta button, you can actually travel underground for a few seconds before doing the uppercut making it easy to chase an enemy that's trying to run away. At level 1, it does 114 damage. At level 4, it does 133 damage. And at level 9, it does 162 damage. Mirio's beta can also be used for traversal, since while underground, you can actually go through things. Something else that you can also do with this beta is that if you're under a building when the uppercut activates, it will actually make you travel through the building and push you out on top onto the roof. You can't do this with all buildings, but it does work with a majority of them. Moving on, we have Mirio's Gamma. With this, Mirio creates a shield around himself that damages and knocks back anyone that's close to him. The longer you hold it, the longer the shield will be active. It also protects Mirio from most attacks while the shield is active. It does 76 damage at level 1, does 91 damage at level 4, and does 105 damage at level 9. I will say though, that the shield is not perfect. Sometimes, attacks will hit you from outside the shield even though you have the shield up. This is 100% a bug and should get fixed at some point, but just be warned that this does happen sometimes. And finally, we have Mirio's special action, Permeation. While active, this makes Mirio invulnerable and lets him walk through objects. While active, you cannot interact or attack anything until it runs out. And, if the permeation runs out while you're inside something, it will push you out from where you entered, giving you some really cool options for escape mix. For example, you could permeate through a wall while being chased, and they will assume that you kept running and chased, but really, you can just pop back through the wall where you entered and juke them. Now that we've gone over everything Mirio has, let me show you a couple of highlights from a couple of matches I've had with him, and then I'll tell you if I think he's really worth your tickets. Okay, so a lot of people have landed on this. This is uh, not good, but hey, perfect time to try out Mirio. His jabs are actually a lot faster than I thought they would be, so I'm very happy about that. Oh god. This is not going well. Our deck was already down. How did I miss? I... Okay. You guys saw that. I was like right on Momo. That should not have missed. Oh hey, we done the Momo. Let's go. Oh, th thanks all for one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's probably bad that he did do that, because Mirio would probably miss. So, something I don't know how I feel about yet with Mirio is that 
you don't just aim with him. You, uh, it's very much aim and hope you hit. Because he has no tracking like everyone else. So where you aim is where you're going to land. So something as simple as a sidestep or literally just walking a tiny bit to the left completely avoids the attack. It is... I hope they do something about it in the future because I really don't like it, I'm going to be honest. Yep, all phones being shot at. I hit it, let's go, but I didn't... Uh, okay. I did keep pressing after for some reason, I just didn't go. Oh, that was a combo. That was cool. I enjoyed that. That was awesome. It just shows how good all for one is as a character, if I'm being honest. He's great on his own, and also, he works with pretty much any character. Nice. I'm gonna try and go for that Deku. Oh, wait, huh? Where'd they go? Huh. <coughs> no, no, I'll just punch him since we're here. Oh, yeah, this is not going to go well. So, through him. Oh, I am low. I need to get out of here. Oh, well, permeation time. Ha, the juke! The juke! He thought I went through! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pop plus ultra. It's a waste, but honestly, I really need to get out of there and heal. Oh, hi! Okay, yeah, I was not expecting you to be here. Please, just, just let me heal, man. It ain't that deep. Oh, hey, people. Damn it, I was gonna go for the box. Oh, well. Is this the team? I think this is the team from earlier. Okay, so third hit. That's the see again. I feel like that's probably because he was on a slip thing, but I don't get why that would have dropped otherwise. Gonna, I do not want to be there when the cannons are. Ah, uh, yeah, that missed, but that was on me. Oh, yeah, they all, see, when they all hit, that's what it's supposed to do. Never let my guard down. <laughs> Something nice with Mirio, though, that I do like is just how easy you can escape. Because there are some characters, like Vine Girl or All for One, where and it's really difficult to escape unless you have something, like with Vine Girl speed cards. The goal for one, someone's quirks with mobility. But Mirio, Mirio just flies around the man. Oh, that was sad. So many people he hit then. That's cool. I didn't know that you could hit multiple people with one charge, so that's good to know. I start fight amongst each other. Don't notice me. I'm just permeating around. Just as it went off. Oh well. I say no to your cannon, no one, no. no this twice, this twice is taunting me, he just keeps showing up. Just think, two plus ultras in a match. That's crazy. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just really trying to focus right now. Mirio's one, like, I think I'm probably going to say this in the beginning or something, but Mirio is very... You have to think when you play him. Which is cool, but it's not something you expect with uh, <laughs> this game, to be honest. Most characters just, hey, point and shoot, but Mirio, oh no, Mirio, you actually have to, like, try. No. I'd love to confirm him, but I don't think I can. How do you like that? 
Like I said, this Shizaki just does not go down, does she? And again, see, this is what I was talking about with the uh, charge. You can just charge around, and I'm gonna cut this part out so it doesn't matter. Perfect. I can just dive back in and get back in the action. And then I can permeate and I can run away. What are they gonna do? Attack? No. Huh? Well, unless they're gonna Shigaraki. Because something I've noticed Shigaraki, both uh, red and yellow, sometimes, for no reason, they can still hit you even if you permeated. Same with All Might, but the All Might one only happened once. So I I assume that's a bug, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I, I don't know where they are. I, I've genuinely just lost them. I thought they were down there, but I, I guess not. Never let my guard down. But you know, I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the best match with Muriel that I- Oh, there they are. This is probably the best match with Muriel I've had, because usually I'm getting like one, maybe two kills and like four, five K damage. Damage is always high, but the, the kills are... It's difficult. Yeah, see, this is what I mean about the alpha. It's just really hard to hit. You are not reviving on my watch. Nope. Yeah, this is not looking good for me. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. No! <laughs> so, is Muriel worth your ticket? I'm gonna have to say no, he's not. While Muriel is a very fun character to use and move around the map with, he is a character that takes a lot of work to use with very little reward. Yes, he can go through things, which is awesome, and yes, he does have high damage, but what's the point of having all that damage if you're going to miss most of your shots? And there are other issues like his gamma not working so you can still be hit somehow, and even with his special actions, sometimes you'll be permeated and you'll still be hit even though you shouldn't be because you're permeated. But the biggest thing is that Mirio is just a difficult character to play and learn. Like I said earlier, with all his attacks, you have to predict where the enemy will be. It's not just point and shoot like every other character in the game. And while I do think this is cool, I also think it makes playing him and using him very frustrating. So no, right now, he is not worth your ticket. But that's not to say in the future he will get some changes and that will make him good. Just like Aizawa, when he was first released, he was not a good character. But through small tweaks and changes, he became a very good character, and I hope in the future we get this with Mirio. My name is Webavalo, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.